Founded in 1948 by Tsuchiro Honda in Japan, Honda Motor Company quickly evolved from manufacturing motorized bicycles to becoming a global powerhouse in motorcycles and automobiles. The introduction of Honda Accord in 1976 marked a significant milestone, establishing Honda's reputation for reliability and innovation. This model has since become a stable in the automotive world, symbolizing Honda's enduring commitment to excellence and engineering ingenuity. Honda's journey began as a powerhouse in motorcycles back in the 1950s, before venturing into the world of automobiles in 1963. The introduction of the Honda Civic in 1970 marked the brand's breakthrough in the car market, setting the stage for what would become one of their most iconic offerings. In May 1976, the first generation Honda Accord was unveiled as a compact, fuel efficient, and believe it or not, a three door hatchback. By 1977, the lineup expanded with a four door sedan, growing the Accord's appeal. Over the decades, the Accord has not only met consumer expectations, but often exceeded them, to the point where it wasn't unusual for a Honda Accord's value to actually increase over the years. This has made the Accord one of the Car and Drivers magazine 10 best cars 21 times in the past 25 years. This is the 2024 Honda Accord Hybrid Sport. And what makes this car amazing is the fact that you can drive for about a thousand kilometers before you have to fill it up again. My name is Samir Uchi and you're watching Motrox TV. The car looks amazing. I mean, it's the same as the 2023 model because that's when Honda Accord changed its look. So this is similar to the 2023 model, but it's, but it's a 2024 model. And as you can see, it has a beautiful frontage. The LED intelligent lights, the front hexagonal grille, the fact that it has an aerodynamic, uh, it opens up and closes depending on uh, if it needs cool air or if it needs to be more aerodynamic. Overall, the look on the front makes it look slightly aggressive and slightly, you know, command. It's like it's, it's telling everybody, you know, move over, I'm coming, which is not usually normal for a Honda Accord. Usually the Honda Accord is more like subtle, nice, but with this particular style, it's trying to make a statement. I'm here, move over. This hybrid Accord showcases a sophisticated hybrid powertrain that merges a 2.0 four-cylinder engine with two electric motors delivering around 204 horsepower and 247 pound-feet of torque. This combination ensures quick responsiveness and smooth power delivery, with a top speed of 180 km an hour and 0 to 100 km in just 7 seconds. The Hybrid Accord not only excites with its performance, but also impresses with outstanding fuel efficiency. This has a, a very, very large trunk space, which is usually not common for hybrid cars because of the fact that they have to balance between the electric motors and the battery. But with this particular model, it's, it's a huge, huge size. And what's even more unique, and I believe that's only for this part of the world, the Middle East part of the world, is the spare tire is actually a full-size spare tire. Not only is it a full-size spare tire, it's the exact same rim as the car rim. So Honda doesn't want you to look silly when you have a flat tire. It doesn't want you to look like, you know, the car is arching or one, you know, one of the wheels is tiny and the rest of the wheels. It wants you to look as cool and as elegant as you can, whether you had a flat or whether you didn't have a flat. And they did that by putting the spare tire that's identical to the actual alloys of the car. The rear offers spacious seating that comfortably accommodates passengers with ample leg room and headspace to make longer trips more comfortable. The seats are designed with comfort in mind and features rare AC vents to help maintain a comfortable temperature for all the occupants. There's also an armrest in the middle that provides additional comfort and convenience. Additionally, the back seats can be easily folded down from the back using levers. This significantly expands the boot space to better suit all types of storage needs.
All right, so now that we're in the car, I gotta tell you why I think the hybrid is currently the best inventions that we have for, for the future of vehicles. First of all, as I said, they're half electric, half petrol. Now, I can't charge this car. There's no electrical outlet that I can plug this car into or plug something into the car. It, there's, there's nothing. It, it's electric, but I have no control on the charging part. The charging part happens automatically by the engine. As I'm driving, the engine charges the car. There's a really cool sound, very silent, silent, like humming sound that the car makes when it's in EV mode. You can hardly hear it unless you're outside the car, um, but it's there whenever you're reversing or whenever you're moving forward. And I believe it's the sound that the car makes in order to let people know that it's moving because the problem with EVs, which this is partly an EV, is that people can't hear it. And if they can't hear the car coming, reversing or going, then that, you know, that's dangerous. And the answer to that is putting some kind of a nice, cool, humming sound. I love the uh, instrument display. It's just, uh, well, basically it's just an uh, LCD screen. It's all digital and you control it in every aspect via the steering wheel controllers. And you can pretty much, everything that's here can go there as well. I mean half, half the screen. Half maintains its car information, and the other half you can put whatever it is that is here, there, be it the power flow of the car, be it the uh, information, the radio, the um, Google Maps, all those stuff. Honda has a phenomenal way of making things easy to use. I mean, I have to hand it to them. They're just really, really clever at making things very good, and very easy and simple to use. Inside this 2024 Honda Accord Hybrid, you'll find an interior that's both stylish and sensible. There's a digital display that's super clear and a touchscreen in the center that works with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The whole cabin has a quality feel with soft dashboard and a leather steering wheel. The seats are really comfy, great for long road trips, plus the car is built to keep road noise out, so it's always nice and quiet. I love this. I love the fact that the camera comes on every time I indicate right and tells me exactly what's going on. I, I, I'm, I don't even look at the side mirrors anymore. This is ingenious. I don't know why every car doesn't have this. The EV button that I have here next to the gearbox, um, once you press it, it, uh, it, it makes the car only electric, but not for long, for you know, a couple of kilometers, a um, couple of minutes. Uh, it's just to, for example, you want to pull out the house and you don't want to switch the car on, you can do that. You want to park the car and you don't want to have the petrol on because of the sound or whatever, you can do that. It just gives you that option that uh, when in need, you want to be in electric mode, you can do that manually. So you know how most cars, when they compare the, the driving range, they say that you know when driving on the highway, you get more miles than driving on the city. With the hybrid car, it's the opposite. With the hybrid cars, you get much more range when you're driving in the city than you do when you're driving on the highway. And that makes this car extremely useful in Bahrain because in Bahrain, we're just one big city, basically. This is, this is the most ideal car for Bahrain. Now, for those that don't know where Bahrain is, I'm in Bahrain. It's a tiny island in the Middle East. And in my opinion, it's one of the most beautiful countries in the world. The Honda Accord driving modes offer extra performance or economy on demand, switching effortlessly between normal, sport, econ, and individual. This allows you to tailor your drive to suit your preference and get the best performance from the hybrid system. So just to put things in perspective, with this current system of hybrid on this particular car, with a full tank of petrol, this car can go up to a thousand kilometers. A thousand kilometers is a lot. And a full tank of petrol for this car is not a lot. In fact, in Bahrain, I can fill this car up for just under $20. So just $20 for a whole month of driving. That's insane. But this is what the hybrid engine does or the hybrid concept does. And also, um, you know, of course they differ from one car to another, 
what I'm, the information I'm giving you is related to this particular car, the Honda Accord. And the fact that it's big, it's not small, it's a big car. This is, this is big, to put things in perspective, this is bigger than a Camry. It's uh, closer to the Toyota Crown category than the actual Camry, especially when considering, you know, the luxury part of the car. You can download the Honda Connect app, which is quite cool. This app lets you sync your smartphone right to the car system. You can start the engine, lock and unlock the doors, and even check your fuel level, all from your phone. Plus, the app includes a Find My Car feature, which is perfect for those who forget where they parked their car. One of my favorite things about Honda is their Honda sensing uh, system. Basically, it's just a safety system that's connected to every part of the car to do with safety. Whatever it is in the car, be it in the driving, be it in the actual uh, response, everything about the safety features of the car is connected under one system called the Honda Sensing that Honda created. It's unique to only Honda. And it communicates with every part of the car to ensure that whatever situation the car is in, the best safety outcome is produced, the best. And it just makes, you know, that gives you that, you know, ease of mind and that comfort that you know that you're sitting in a car or you're driving a car or a type of brand let's just say because as i said it's in all the hondas that particular brand has that added value that the others don't i've been driving this car since yesterday and uh it was a full tank of petrol and i've driven this car i mean i'm testing this car it still is a full tank of petrol it hasn't changed not even one bit and that's the petrol side the electric did go down, and now it's going back up, 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 and even more. It's just, it's, it feels weird because usually when you use a car, you know that the power gets depleted. It would be a battery, it goes down, be a petrol, it goes down. There's something weird about this car because it's doing the opposite. The more you use it, the more it fills up. It's just weird. Now, most people are buying SUVs these days. Um, SUVs are extremely ideal, extremely popular for the, you know, the ladies and the men, for young and for older. It's just, it's a very comfortable option for driving. Um, however, the sedans are there. And I don't want to say they're coming back, but they're there and, and the ones that like them, they like them. And the ones that had a little bit enough of SUVs, you know, they, they go back to the sedans because sedans are, how shall I put it, a little bit more comfortable. I mean, the SUVs are great, don't get me wrong, but the sedans have that, that executive luxury comfort that you don't get in SUVs. If your option is that, and if it's a sedan that you're considering or thinking about, I highly recommend you guys try this one out. Just try it out. You won't go wrong trying it out. At least you'll know what you're getting and what it, what's it like driving it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it interesting. Until next time, keep watching Motrox TV. Bye-bye.